My name is Surya Kelly. I'm here with The Morning Watch at Michigan State University. Today we're here to talk to students about Columbus Day. All right, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So what are your thoughts on Columbus Day? Um, I think there's like a lot of contro controversy surrounding it, especially with the issues with like indigenous people and the people that were like pushed out of territory when Columbus came in. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you think it should be a different holiday instead? Um, I think there's ways we can like go around it and celebrate more of the fact that although like America and new territory was created, um, I don't, I think there's so much like um, injustice behind it. What are your thoughts on Columbus Day? <laughs> don't really have any thoughts about it. I don't know anything about Columbus Day. <laughs> um, I think that we should have it off from school. <laughs> Except uh, I've always enjoyed Columbus Day, not because of what the actual day was celebrating or uh, uh, like showing uh, display towards like the information or showing pride in Columbus and what he did. It was really just because I got out of school on that day. What are your thoughts on Columbus Day? You know, it's, a, it's really not like an American holiday. It's like an international holiday okay because like so much has happened since columbus discovered the americas even though he really didn't discover them but like the whole colombian exchange wouldn't have happened had columbus not made that voyage we wouldn't obviously be enjoying a lot of the modern commodities we enjoy now um like potatoes potatoes are <laughs> potatoes are a really global thing and they're from South America. Nobody would be eating potatoes anywhere else in the world if it had not been for Columbus. Okay. So do you think instead of Columbus Day, we should be celebrating something else? You know, I think it's more of like a celebration of like the exchange of ideas and like goods. And I really think like we probably should keep that. I have no idea. I don't know what else there would be like for today just to celebrate. Okay. <laughs> um, I honestly don't really think there's much celebration about Columbus Day. Like, I see it on the calendar, but I've never, like, seen an event or anything held mm. to, like, actually, like, celebrate it. I wouldn't really know of anything else significant that happened around. Uh, they really don't talk about it in school, so. We could probably uh, celebrate really anything else. Um, I don't really know the history behind Columbus Day. Uh, okay. So, for me, I really have, uh, I really have... Uh, I would have to understand the reason why Columbus Day exists in order for me to fully uh, comment or voice my opinion on what, if Columbus Day should exist or not. So do you perhaps think instead of Columbus Day there should be a different holiday celebrated? Um, if I knew more information I could say yes, but I don't know a lot, so no. <laughs> okay, okay. And then, you know, taking into account Columbus, the American founding, or the American explorers and the Americas, what are your thoughts on, you know, the legitimacy of the American founding? Um, I'm actually learning about this right now in the class. I think there is lots of controversy around the issue and like whether it's the natives lands versus us conquering them, but I think that, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really don't have a lot of information to back up an opinion behind it. I think today we have like much higher standards and like other things that like as far as inequality and that kind of stuff. So I don't think so, no. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. Do you think, you know, taking Columbus Day and the American founding and how we got to 1776, do you think all that in culmination is le legitimate? Yeah. I think we probably should be celebrated more, but we don't. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think that, um, like, it should be more of a known thing, but, like, I feel like a lot of people don't know about it. I would say so since he was the first one to kind of spearhead uh, the... European uh, exploration into the um, into the New World, which of course was settled by the natives and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, I know that what what uh, Christopher Columbus did in the Americas was very bad, especially according to um, today's standards. Uh, but I mean, if since a, he was a very uh, since his exploration and his findings in the New World was very. Uh, transformative of today's world, I would say, sure. You know, I feel like it, we've kind of lost touch with it. Okay. Um, really, the majority of 
Like, people don't understand necessarily what all came out of Columbus discovering the Americas. They just know that we have the Americas now, and it just kind of is, like, a, something we enjoy without really, you know, understanding that it wasn't always like that. Okay. Like, we live in a very modern time, and, like, back then they didn't. So, for him to do what he did, that's a pretty impressive feat by any standard, to just sail across the Atlantic in the ships that they had, yeah. with the resources that they had. Like, that's, that's pretty impressive. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.